if you are looking forward to a custom room which brings you stock kind of ui not having major customizations but could be a good option for you as i made a video on almost every customer right now and i think so this custom room was left so we are here to talk about this one this is awaken os and it is also updated to android 14 android 14 already brings you some new features some new changes so we will not talk about the android 14 based changes but we will talk about some of the things which are available in awaken os by default and if this custom is officially or unofficially available for your device you have to check it out the first one is the launcher it is having the pixel launcher pre-installed because it is not having any kind of major customizations it is not a customization focused custom room having some stock ui feelings so that is why it is having pixel launcher pre-installed and as far as i know if you use the google apps version you will definitely get the pixel apps pre sorry pixel launcher pre-installed if i move on to the quick settings panel you have the light quick settings panel if you use the light mode if you use a dark mode, you will get the dark quick settings panel. Like in some of the custom room, we have the dark quick settings panel. To be very honest, I actually love the light quick settings panel if I have the light mode enabled. But that's user specific. If you want to use the dark mode, you can choose that and you'll be able to get the dark quick settings panel. Or you can use any other custom rooms, which is, for example, Evolution X OS, which is having the dark quick settings panel. Doesn't matter if you use a light mode or dark mode. As expectedly, the settings UI is kind of same stock settings UI, not having major customizations because it is not a customization focused custom room, but still some of the useful features are available here and there. We will talk about all of those things in this video, but the settings UI by default is looking quite similar, quite minimal and same cloned apps feature, which is part of the Android 14 custom rooms. It's available here. You can create a second instance of any app which is available here. I mean, most of the apps are supported for this. You can create, but it is not exactly same like the parallel space option available in Android 13 based custom rooms. And you can create approximately five instances of those particular apps. But in cloned apps, in, in this case, you will be only be able to create the one. I mean, one is pre-installed. You can create the second one and that's it. In battery options or the customization section, you will find the battery options, battery icon style and the battery percentage, but nothing else. It's a normal thing. It is not having the iOS style battery indicators, etc. Uh, it is having these kind of options for you. You also have the option to see the battery usage and battery temperature. Battery health option is also present here. And sound and vibration, you will also notice one of the feature which is actually quite underrated. Not many of the users talk about this. What is that? If you move on to the vibration and haptics option, you will find the in-call vibration options. This is one of my favorite or basically the most useful, one of the most useful features right now. If you enable this option, so if you do calls, you will definitely find out some differences here. It will simply vibrate when, whenever you call connects or whenever you call disconnect. This thing is quite good. You also have the options related to customizations. For example, some fonts customizations. One of my favorite font is Linot. Another one is Mandrop. These fonts are also present here. You will find them. It's working fine here. You also have the option for icon pack because it is not a customization focused custom room. That is why we are not having the Pavlova UI, Archerus. These kind of icon packs are not present here. Other options kind of same here. You have the refresh rate customizations. In display customizations, you will find the quick settings options where you have the option to enable or disable the brightness slider. Data usage option is also present, icon manager and the show 4G icon. Only these kind of options are available here to customize, else things are basically same. One more thing is, if we move on to the gestures option, you will not find one feature which is one of my favorite one is in the navigation mode, which is basically gesture navigation, of course, the hide IME button space option. Unfortunately, that is not present. Let me show you once. This is not there. But other than else, like swipe to screenshot or, for example, lift to check phone, double tap to wake, etc. Those kind of options are already present here. As I just mentioned at the starting of the video, if this custom room is available officially or unofficially for your device, you can find out and try to check it out because it's quite smooth. In the terms of performance, it's quite smooth. You will definitely find that this custom room is one of the smoothest right now. If you want to install, link is available in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and make sure to like this video.